internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And through some uh, um, efforts and trials and tribulations, I've got another guest on the line for Synergy Cafe. And here we go. His name is Len. Len Rosen, are you here? I'm here. See, we did it. Persistence brings virtue. We can do it. Now, where are you located? Are you in California? Toronto, Ontario. Okay, that's kind of California. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know where I got you in California. Just been visiting for a bit, family. Okay. Well, you're uh, you're if you're from Toronto, then you're kind of neighbors. I'm in Minnesota. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> See? There you go. <laughs> so I do these uh, interviews kind of quick. They're sort of a get to know who you are, and uh, that's b the basic essence of it. We find out who you are, what you do, and where you do it, and when you do it, and then the big why do you do it. So we got through the first part of who you are and where you live and all that. So what is it that you do as far as your occupation? I'm a filmmaker, film director, producer, um, now TV producer, director. I basically have been doing filmmaking all my life, um, you know, making films and uh, doing projects, music videos and uh, oh, cool. commercials and such, either behind the camera or in front, mostly behind the camera. Um, and um, that's what I've been doing since I was a kid. <laughs> oh, yeah, I spent a little bit of time in uh, California, in Los Angeles, so there's a lot of film stuff out there, and a good friend of mine is a magician friend, actor, he's been on, like, with Bill Bixby on The Magician, and with the Lucy on The Lucy Show, and The Six Million Dollar Man, and all that kind of stuff, and he does some of that, uh, uh, what do they call it, like, directing, where they switch from camera to camera, and all that kind of stuff, right, doing right, that kind right, of stuff, right, yeah. Right. I don't know much about all that stuff, but it's an exciting world because it's, it's kind of like the magic world. You're creating an illusion around uh, the stuff that you're doing. That... Yeah, it's a creative world, and I love it because you get to create your own story from your head and make it come to life. How long have you been so, doing it? Uh, hmm? How long have you been doing it? Oh, since I was a kid. Oh, wow. Way back when. Well, my father used to have those uh, Super 8 cameras. Now, now we're getting the age coming in here. I uh, used to have those Super 8 <laughs> cameras. He used to do animation with a little remote thing. Yeah. And uh, he used to get me to do it, move the Tinker Toys, make them dance, and all that kind okay. of stuff. <laughs> and then I took over, and I made a little reel of a little Superman-type film. And I remember I had to do the X-ray vision, so when the film was developed, I did little things like flipping it on the negative side and drawing in little things coming out of my eyes. Or if I wanted breath vision, I'd take a point and scratch each frame. <laughs> it would work. <laughs> but I used to tinker like that, and I used to oh, cool. like, experiment. Always. So that's neat that you've seen it through the time of film now into the digital kind of stuff. It's changed quite a bit, I'm sure. Oh yeah, with the with the video when the video cameras came out, I thought it was in heaven. I mean, even then, back in the VHS day and then the um, eight millimeter tape day. I mean, I was like, wow, I can actually record up to eight hours and I can erase over things I don't want. Oh my God, this is so cool. I, I'm I'm in heaven, you know. So I had to get one of those, and I did experimented and experimented um and then you know you, you get to a point where you start to learn and then finally when we got into digital and adobe premiere yeah. and all the uh, linear stuff then it was another blessing because then i wouldn't lose a generation of quality because when i had to do editing i'd have to flip it up and back and become all muddy and right with vhs and analog but then the digital was uh was a dream for so do you do? Do you have any upcoming projects or anything that you got coming up? Uh, some anything yeah. in the can about to be released or anything like that? Working on a television show, ironically called It's Len, uh, which is a, a young girl. She's um, she's in Hollywood trying to make it, can't pay her bills. Her parents telling her to come home. She doesn't want to. She reaches out to her brother-in-law who lives in the Canadian Arctic, me, and I I make a deal with her. Okay, I want to sell my. Uh, snow documentary in Hollywood if you let me come and live with you I'll pay your expenses and bills and everything so they make a deal but it opens up to a Mr. Bean type of thing where you get this guy <laughs> out, who's lived in the Arctic fish out of water 
and uh, a lot of slapstick, but not all slapstick. It's like a Curb Your Enthusiasm type of comedy reality show. It is intelligent. It's not all slapstick. So it's almost a reality show with the first uh, description you played off there of a person going to Hollywood and not making it because there's a lot of that down there. Yeah, it's <laughs> going to be a really interesting mix of reality and, and uh, stage comedy. Very cool. You don't know what's real and what's not. So when's it coming out? Uh, hopefully this year. We're in pre-production. We're just getting you know everything ready, pre-production pilot, etc., you know, all of that administration stuff, but uh, we should be able to release it uh, this year in 2017. Cool. Uh, and, yeah. So I don't like to do these too long because people have their, their jobs and, and their occupations and things they've got to do, so this is just like an introductory to who you are and stuff, but later down the road we may be able to pull off another one when you're about to release or something and yeah, do sure. it again and longer. But uh, before I ask my favorite question, why don't you – Share with us how to get a hold of you in case you uh, like you have a website or something like that, or people can kind of see the progress of what's going on and all. Sure, www.itslen.com. That's I T S, no apostrophe. So, www.itslen.com. You can also uh, find me on Twitter with at itslen show. Again, no apostrophe. And uh, all contact information is there. Okay, Len is L E N, right? Yeah, L E N. Got it. Okay, perfect. Now here's my favorite question. This is my big why question, and it's like, why are you doing this as opposed to being a dog sled racer or a ice fisher or fishing champion? Why are you doing what you do? Why is it? Birds gotta fly, fish gotta swim, lens gotta fill. Okay. <laughs> if, I can, if I can be as, as simple as that. <laughs> okay, I guess it's in your blood kind of thing. I started doing magic when I was about five years old, so that was my. I understand. Once you get bit by the bug, it stays there. So that's why it is. Cool. Well, I'm going to put this together. What I do is I put a little intro and an outro on it, and then I beam it up to the YouTube, and then I propagate it out to social media and things like that. So I'll do what uh, sure. my wife likes to say, beam that bad boy up. <laughs> All right. So I appreciate you taking the time, Len. And like I said, if you've got uh, an opportunity to, like when it's about to come out, you want to do another one, just let me know. Yeah, no okay. problem. Thanks again. Take care, my friend. Peace.